Hey, Baker Bay. How are you today? Go away! I told you I want no part of this. Tell Ai Ling to leave me alone. If you want to tell Ai Ling something, go tell her yourself. In the meantime, we have our orders. Nothing personal. It's a little personal with me. I like sticking your face in the gutter. Hold on a sec. We've got company. You're a little too interested in our business, friend. Looks like we gotta teach you to back off when Ai Ling's boys are working. Longsword! Leaping Tiger! Can you believe that these thugs would just attack me in broad daylight like that? They... They might have killed me if you hadn't stepped in. Thank you. I never expected such help from a stranger. You spoke to Lan? How humiliating. My fiancé must have told you I can't protect myself. The woman I love doesn't have faith in me? Oh, the shame. I'll never live this down. Yes, yes, you're right, of course. I suppose I can't fault Lan for being worried about me. I've taken some serious beatings lately. I didn't mean to sound ungrateful. I'm just worried about Lan. She's very emotional. I've done my best to try and keep her from becoming involved in this. Those thugs are acting on Eiling's orders. She's the head of their gang. They have a small hideout in the boathouse. Eiling and I were friends when we were children, but we drifted apart as we grew up. She fell in with some rough people, as you've already seen. Ever since I got engaged, Eiling has become obsessed with me. Every day she sends her thugs to beat me up. She says she won't stop until I go talk to her. She's obviously crazy. I've done nothing to her. We haven't even spoken in years. If I go to her hideout to talk to her, I'm afraid that I'll never come out. At least the beatings on the street are out in public. They won't kill me in front of witnesses. Well, not on purpose anyway. No. Lan's very emotional. I didn't want her to get upset. At first, I didn't tell her anything at all. But I couldn't hide my bruises forever, so I told her about the beatings. But even then, I didn't mention Ai Ling. It's bad enough what's happening to me. I was afraid if Lan became more involved, Ai Ling might hurt her too. I'm being completely honest, I swear. I... I know how this looks. You must think I've done something to deserve this, but I have no idea why Ai Ling is after me. Thank you so much. Eileen and her thugs are in the boathouse. Please just ask her to leave me alone. All we want is to live our lives in peace. This is my corn. I'm a captain. You're not a captain. Oh, yes, I am. Where's your captain's hat? Well, where's your captain's hat? I'm not a captain. <laughs> okay, then. The other girls say I charge too much, but I'm worth it. These sailors are good for business. At least until their silver runs out. Everything I am, I owe to the Emperor. Hello! You do not need to speak with me. I am just Merchant Xiang's assistant. Perhaps someday I will be Merchant Shipeng, mightiest merchant of Tian's Landing!
But for now, I am just an assistant, not worthy of your honorable time. Oi, foi a Oxon Cop no Coisancia. Oi, foi a Oxon Cop no Coisancia. Even a village as small as this has a place to hide its undesirables. Sorry, stranger. I stick to my regular customers. Ing better figure out a way to get us out of here soon, or I'm going to snap. Hello there, stranger. I haven't spotted you around Tian's Landing before. You've come at a bad time, what with the dam being open and all. Regardless, it's good to meet you. I'm Darting Lynx, the acrobat. Unfortunately, I'm not putting any shows on in Tian's Landing, if that's why you're here. You know, feats of balance and precision, delicate routines to shock and amaze. Whatever brings some silver, really. I travel around the countryside putting on acts and sometimes teaching people a few tricks. Hey, now that I think of it, you're a warrior, right? I may not be putting on any shows here, but I could teach you a few techniques to improve your balance and speed if you're interested. I'd be happy to. I'll be leaving Tian's Landing someday soon, and silver always helps the trip go smoother. Let's see what I can teach you. Again. What's on your mind this fine day? It's not much of a story, really. It's just a stage name I picked up when I first started practicing acrobatics. I was quite young, and my master felt I was a little too fast for my own good. You dart like a lynx, he would say, but you balance like a drunken frog. <laughs> he taught me to slow my movements and really focus on what I was doing, but his nickname for me stuck. As I said, I'm not really from here, so there's not much I can tell you. You could try talking to Minister Shang, though. He always knows what's going on. I get the sense that he doesn't do much about it, but he's at least aware. All the best to you. Stop right there! I gave you two extra duty. Get back to that galley and start cleaning! We don't have to listen to you, Ing. You're a captain without a ship. She's nothing but a landlocked house now. I will discover a way to free this ship. Until then, you'd better follow orders. I've had enough of you and your orders. Now get back in that ship! I'm your captain, understand? Well, you're still the captain, for now. But if you don't get us out of this town soon, you're going to have a mutiny on your hands. Then we'll see what's what. If you've come to complain about my men, I don't want to hear it. When Minister Sheng gets the great dam closed, we'll be happy to leave. Until then, we're stuck here. They're good men, but we're all a bit mad right now. The Great Dam is open and the lake that feeds into the river is gone. My ship is stranded here like a lame water buffalo. We're sailors. We don't belong on land. If we could just get our ship back on the water, everything would be fine. But that won't happen until someone finds a way to close the dam. The moment I saw you, I knew you were the fearless sort. I hoped you would offer to help. 
It shames me to need the help of a stranger. Must be something in the way you carry yourself. Everywhere we go, people ask you to do dangerous things. Remind me not to go anywhere with you. I'm not a rich man, but my reputation, my ship, and my men are worth everything I can give. Close the dam and free us, and I'll give you all the silver I have. You won't get too far if you don't speak to Minister Shang first. The dam is located in the ruins, but a pair of massive gates blocks the way. Only Sheng has the key. Good luck. I'm not used to needing help from others. It's hard for me to say this, but... Thank you. Finally! Someone stronger than these cowed peasants. This town disgusts me. I am Scholar Six Heavens, and I need someone who possesses great strength and skill. What I do not need, however, is someone who walks the way of the open palm. I can read in every movement that you would protect the weak and coddle the poor. That is exactly the case. You are not worthy to help me in my task. I need someone who understands that discord, friction, and trial are the true sources of strength. If I can see by your actions that you understand the way of the closed fist, I promise to make it worth your while. Otherwise, I will not waste any more time with you. What do you want? Can't you see we're busy drinking here? Gotta wash away our sorrows. It's no fun being trapped in this town. We don't know nobody, we ain't seen our families in months, and now we're stuck here. That'd drive anyone to drink. Uh, okay then. This here's a private club. Members only. You can't. Just move along. Why didn't you say so in the first place? Go on in. They'll unlock the door for you. Eileen is inside, if you want to talk to her. Be careful. Trust no one in this place. We are a long way from your idyllic little village. So, I hear you helped out Baker Bay today. Gave my boys a bit of a lesson, didn't you? You'd think after all the beatings I gave them over the years they'd be used to losing. But they're still taking it pretty hard. Maybe the humiliation will be good for them. Everyone thinks that Bay and that little seamstress make such a nice couple. 
but Bay already promised to marry me. I know what you're thinking. Why would Bay want to marry someone like me? I may not be a delicate little flower like Lon, but I don't want to run this gang forever. Someday I want a husband, maybe a little house, kids too. Bay promised to give me all that. He promised to marry me, and now he's trying to weasel out of it. But a promise is a promise. I won't forget that, even if he tries to. Yeah, okay. If he has the guts to come here and face me, I'll talk to him. But I'm not going to let him weasel out of his promise. Lan, what are you doing here? I figure we better get all the secrets out, Bay. If Lan's going to marry you, she should know what kind of man you really are. She said there was something I need to know, Bay. What's going on? What is she talking about? What? Bay, how could you? I didn't. It's a lie. I haven't spoken to her in years. Not since we were kids. Don't pretend like you don't remember, Bay. It was summer, and we were sitting on a little raft catching fish. I was upset because Li Shan had called me ugly. I was crying, so you took my hand and said, I think you're pretty, Ai Ling, and someday when we're grown up, I'll marry you. What? But that... that was years ago. We were kids. We were only six years old. Y you can't hold me to that. Kids say all kinds of things, Eileen. Remember when you took my frog and I called you a bully? You swore you'd never speak to me again. But that same day you gave me the frog back. You said you'd never, ever, ever do anything to make me unhappy. Kids always say things like that. It doesn't mean anything. It meant something to me, Bay. You were the only boy who didn't tease me, the only one I liked. You promised to marry me, and you're going to keep that promise. Well, yes, I did say that. But that was when we were still friends. Now he pretends like he doesn't even know me. He's changed. Yes, but... Well... You're right. I know you're right. Bay's right. We were just kids. I guess... I guess I can't hold him to his promise. You win, Lon. Bay is yours. If I had more, I would gladly give it to you. But my family isn't rich. This dowry is all I have. Please, take it with my thanks. After all you've done for us, now you are letting Lan keep her dowry as well? Your generosity knows no bounds. I'm... I'm overwhelmed. You've done so much for us, and we've given you so little. Wait, I know. We will name our first child after you to honor your memory. I'm glad everything worked out for you two, and I'm... I'm sorry, Bay. But I don't know what came over me. When I heard you and Lon were getting married, I just snapped. It's okay, Eileen. I hope... I hope things work out for you. Come on, Bay. Let's go.
Yes? Goodbye then. You got something to say, you say it to Ai Ling. She's in charge here. You got something to say, you say it to Ai Ling. I hope things work out for Bay and Lon. After everything I put them through, they deserve it. I don't know what came over me. It's just... Bay was my last chance to have a family. My only chance to find a husband. When I heard he was engaged, I realized I'd never get out of this life I've created. What respectable man would ever want to marry a girl like me? Even the Lummoxes in my gang would only do it because they're afraid of me. This town is short on eligible bachelors as it is. I mean, there are a few guys out there I know of, but none of them would be interested in me. I have a reputation around town, and having my boys beat up Bay didn't help any. Any half-decent man would probably run if they saw me coming. Huh. You really think you can pull this off? Tell you what, you find me a decent husband and I'll make it worth your while. My, uh, business ventures have been very profitable. But don't think I'm desperate enough to settle for just anyone. I've got my standards. And I'd have to meet him first, of course. Ha! <laughs> don't make me laugh. I'm looking to start a family and live a nice, quiet life. Somehow I don't see that kind of domestic tranquility in your near future. You've got that wandering hero look. And I'm not interested in a husband who's going to be out traveling the Empire or saving the world. Let's see. There's Rue the Bosun, but he's nothing but a drunk. My boys have had more than a few run-ins with him over the years. He's definitely out. Hmm. Chuman the Craftsman is single. I don't know him that well, but he seems like a good man. He has a home in the southwest corner of the town. And then there's Yaru. He used to be a sailor traveling the Empire, but now he's looking to settle down. He might be a good catch. Spends most of his time in the tea house. Not living in town, and Tien's Landing doesn't get a lot of visitors. But if you find someone looking for a wife... Bring him by so I can check him out. The only reason I was interested in Bay was because I figured he was my only chance of ever finding a husband, and I knew he was a decent guy. It's not like he was the love of my life or anything. He just seemed like a logical choice. There's not a lot of options in this town. Yeah, right. The pickings in Tien's Landing are mighty slim for a girl like me. But if you find someone, just bring him back so I can meet him. And, well, good luck. <laughs>